Yo, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And in this video, what we're going to be talking about is the brand new after patch method here for the solo car duplication glitch working in GTA 5 online. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're not going to waste much time at all. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, um, you are going to be creating dirty dupes if you do not use custom plates on the vehicle you are duplicating beforehand. Uh, we'll get into, uh, into that a little bit more in just a second. But if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, please feel free to head down there and smash that like button. And if you guys are new around here, also consider subscribing as well. It really would help out the channel. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, uh, like I said, uh, you will need custom plates, as you can see on the vehicle I am looking to duplicate here. The fully upgraded Arena War Issy. I do have a custom plate um, added here and placed onto my uh, vehicle. All right, the vehicle that I am looking to duplicate. So that is very important, guys. If you do not have custom plates on the vehicle you are duplicating before we start here, you will be creating dirty duplicates. And if you sell dirty duplicates, you will be dupe detected and you will basically be sent down to uh, being able to sell one car a day. And you, you guys do not want that. All right. Uh, as you can see, we're in our auto shop. We do have the free elegies in here along with the vehicle we are looking to duplicate. Uh, go ahead and pull out the elegy out of your auto shop here. All right, once you are outside, we're going to go ahead and just leave the elegy outside. All right, just go ahead and leave it outside here. Now, this is the after patch method. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, just go ahead and leave the elegy outside. All right, instead of pulling it back in, uh, and then go ahead and walk into your auto shop on foot. All right, guys, once you are in here on foot, all we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and jump in the vehicle we're uh, looking to duplicate, uh, the one here with the custom plate on it. Uh, so I do suggest a fully upgraded Arena War Issy. All right, this is going to be your best option as the duplicates will sell for around $1.8 million. All right, uh, so go ahead and uh, hit right D-pad and pull the uh, vehicle you are duplicating into the mod shop. Once you are in the mod shop, we need to make one change on the vehicle. Go ahead and make one change. I'm going to go ahead and change, um, change it back here. But uh, once you make a change on the vehicle, go ahead and hit pause, go to online and find new session. All right, guys, so just like before, um, it is basically uh, the same from this point on. All right, we're going to find new session. Uh, and then once we find new session and we spawn back in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the garage here. And you guys will notice here once I get down here that the vehicle that we are duplicating is here in its parking spot. And if you look over here, the elegy that we had pulled out earlier is not there. Uh, if you want to check, go ahead and hit pause. All right, and as you can see, we do have our, a personal vehicle outside and as you can see, it is actually now our duplicated ISI. Uh, so from here, just go ahead and bring open your interactions menu and then return personal vehicle to storage. And as you will see, boom, there you go. Uh, this is now our duplicated ISI. And as you can see, it's, it has the same exact plate as the uh, original. All right, so that is why you need custom plates. So the duplicates are then safe to sell. All right, guys, but uh, that is pretty much all there is to it. It is just that easy. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I really do appreciate y'all for staying tuned in. This has been your boy, High Guy, and until the next one, I'm out. Peace.